Hi guys, welcome to our channel Mac Professor. In this video, we are discussing about relation between CP, CV and R. Here, CP is the specific heated constant pressure, CV is the specific heated constant volume and R is the characteristic gas constant. So, in this video, we these three parameters ki relationship and calculate each other. Okay? So, first of all, we would like to know about what is this specific heat. So, let's start with the so specific heat is the heat required by a unit mass of a substance to raise temperature by 1 degree is called the specific heat of the substance. For example, we are taking water. So water is some amount of water. Ne. A water ne 1 degree of temperature raise and covers in heat ne. is called specific heat. So the heat required by a unit mass of a substance. So heat is necessary. To raise temperature by 1 degree. So 1 degree of temperature rise and covers in heat ne. is called the specific heat of the substance. That is called specific heat of the substance is called water this up to water. Ajay oil this kunte. That is the specific heat of oil. Okwala lubricant this kunte specific heat of lubricant out. So okwaka substance kekoda okay specific heat and the untunde. And it is also called the heat capacity of a substance. And it is denoted by C, capital C. So, we will heat capacity and we will capital C to representation. Okay, now, and next point is that the gases have two specific heats known as specific heat at constant pressure, that is Cp, and specific heat at constant volume, that is Cv. So, we will gases like oxygen, carbon dioxide, hydrogen, etc. So, what are the Cp, Cv values? Now, we would like to find out the relationship between these three. Okay. So first of all, we would like to know about relationship between enthalpy and internal energy. Relation between enthalpy and internal energy. So in the enthalpy and internal energy relation is H is equal to U plus PV. Here, H is the enthalpy, U is the internal energy, and P is the pressure, V is the volume. So, my enthalpy is defined as the sum of internal energy and product of pressure and volume. Okay. So, I want change in internal energy. Sorry, change in enthalpy. So, change in enthalpy means what? DH is equal to, so my enthalpy change out the internal energy will change out the DU plus the pressure volume will change out the D of PV. So, this is the equation number one. Let us say, okay. Next, we would like to know about thermodynamic processes like constant volume process and constant pressure process. First of all, we are taking constant volume process, okay. So, during constant volume process, during constant volume process, what happening? What is zero? So, this process is in our video. I link the video description. Is so, we already tell you, mass energy equation is dq is equal to delta u plus w. So, here work done is 0. So, we have dq is equal to change in internal energy. So, we from the law, internal energy is the function of temperature only. So, here at constant volume, we are taking Cv. And temperature function, change in internal energy, dt. So, we have to dq is equal to Cv into dt. So, this is the equation number 2. Okay? During constant pressure process, heat transfer is equal to change in enthalpy of the system. Okay, so that means a more than dq is equal to dh. We know that dq is equal to cp into delta t in constant pressure process. So dq is already is equal to dh. So what dh is equal to a more than cp into delta t. Okay, or dt. So this is the equation number three. So in the work of manam, these three equations we find out just some. Next one of this intent from characteristic gas equation for unit mass. Here one characteristic gas equation is PV is equal to MRT, but here we are taking RT because of per unit mass capacity. So change in A mode in the in the change mode in the equation alone. Change of equation in the R is constant capacity is D into PV out in the R is constant and D into T. So this is the equation number four. Okay. So one characteristic gas equation which in the other one of the change out in the even a change out in the change out in the so after that, from the above equations, 2, 3, 4, 
substitute in equation 1. Then we get, so we get equation 1 into dh is equal to du plus dA of PV. So I equation is equal to. So dh is equal to m open one key, equation 3 into cp into delta t. Okay, dta in the, that is equal to du. du means what? So here du is equal to dq is equal to cv into delta t. So cv into delta t. Next, plus d of pv. So d of pv came out in the equation 4 in the equation 4 in the r of dt. Okay. So from the above equation we get cp of dt. Okay, common value just in there. Here dt is constant. So you can each one capital common this is cv plus r. So here this dt, this dt is cancelled. So we are going to the terms of cp is equal to cv plus r. So this cv and the cost of the cp minus cv is equal to r. So this is the required relationship between these three constants. That is specific heats and characteristic gas constant. So this is the very very important one. Okay. So already we know that the ratios of two specific heats that is cp by cv is equal to gamma. Okay. So for a this value is 1.4 and it has no units. Remember these things. And next one units of specific heats is cp and cv have same units. Those are kilojoule per kg kelvin. Okay. And r is also same units. Okay. And uh, one more thing r value is constant that is 0 0.287 kilojoule per kg kelvin for all gases here r is the characteristic gas constant so these units are very important things so r ni manam joules lo marchu valante 287 and into multiply cheyal so joule for kg kelvin so these are the some relations of cp cv and r and one more thing cp value is greater than cv so that's why gamma value is always greater than 1 so these are the important things i hope you got one idea about these relations if you are like my explanation then like this video and subscribe to our channel Mac Professor for more updates.